hi, and welcome back to another video. This week, I'm after another wild edible, burdock. So here we have a second year growth burdock plant. It's, um, as you can see, the leaves are just starting to, to turn and brown, but um, it's quite easy to identify at this stage when it's in its second year of growth, because what we have are all the burrs at the top of the, at the, top of the plant, which are basically the flower heads and this burr, um, uh, grows which starts at a sort as a sort of purpley color and then ends up brown like it is now um, but that that does make recognition a bit easier so here you can see the leaf from a first year growth uh, burdock plant and it is huge I mean you know my hand in amongst it it's big enough it's as big as your head you could put it over your head and keep the rain off easily um, and uh, yeah it's it's um, it's a large leaf it's very downy on the underside and that's what we're going to dig up. We need the root of that first year growth. The ground is so hard. We've hardly had any rain lately. And it's just rock hard and dry as you like that. Hard digging. There we go. Okay, I've got some bits of root here. A couple of quite large bits, and two sli slightly smaller bits. We're gonna go and get a file it, and we're gonna cook those in two different ways. We're also gonna need some young burdock leaves. Right, I've got a fire lit, um, and I've just got piled it up with a load of wood to um, just let it die down to embers. I need the embers because we're going to be roasting um, these roots in the embers of that fire. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to clean this root. What that noise was. There's a farmer in the field ploughing. I think that's probably seagulls. <laughs> what a racket. So we're going to clean these. I haven't got anything to scrub it, scrub them with. Um, so I'm just going to use my knife and clean, scrape the mud and the outer layer of the roots clean. Okay, so these three pieces I'm going to roast in the embers. Um, and that's why we've got the leaves, because what you need to do is you need to take young leaves and you're going to roll the whole root once you've scrubbed it in the young leaves from the burdock. Now this is a, a Japanese method of cooking burdock, 
Um, the Japanese love burdock, um, and it's, it's cooked quite extensively through the country, as I understand. Um, they even cultivate it um, for eating. Most people will have heard, or most people in the UK will have heard of um, dandelion and burdock, the drink, um, but not very often, it's not very often eaten. Okay, so you just take your root, you wrap it up in leaves, and then you're gonna wrap it in tin foil, just to stop it burning. And make a little parcel out of it, and that's gonna go straight in the embers. So the other way we're going to cook this is by boiling it. This is also a Japanese dish or um, Japanese recipe um, and it's very simple. You're just going to cut your burdock root into matchstick sized pieces, cover that with water, and the bit that gives it its real flavour. soy sauce. So a really good splash of soy sauce. And a bit of salt and pepper. This is all. I carry these little sachets with me everywhere. They're, they're really handy. You can get these from any sort of like cafe and McDonald's, anywhere, wherever you go, you know. You should just nab them whenever you can. Keep them in your, keep them in your food bag. So salt and pepper. In there, and basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on to boil, and the idea is to boil it down so that the water evaporates off after about 15 minutes. Uh, take it off the off the heat, um, and just let the remaining liquid in there just be absorbed into the into the burdock, so that it doesn't catch and stick to the bottom of your pan. So really, burdock is about as good as it gets in terms of a root that you can eat in this country, certainly. Um, you know, we don't have wild yams and sweet potato and things like that, which, um, you know, you can get in other parts of the world. We have very few uh, roots that are nutritional. Um, so burdock's quite interesting. It's full of carbohydrate um, and antioxidants and you cook it in a, in a similar way to how you would cook carrot. Um, you know, it takes about the same amount of time, I guess, boiling it. Um, and uh, yeah, you just treat it as a, as a root vegetable like that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see how it comes out with the soy sauce. And as to whether the leaves give a flavor into the, into the root as well. There's obviously a reason why, why um, the Japanese like to cook it in the leaf. Um, but we'll see. Ah. Smoke eye. Right, we're ready. Doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, let's see how these came out. A bit warm. So we've got the leaves here. The leaves are a bit singed. What 
Well, they look a little bit like something the cat might have left behind. <laughs> but uh, let's see what they're like inside. Mm, look better inside. This one's like. Right, let's give it a go. That's nice. It's definitely nutty. I'm really succulent. It's got a texture a bit stiffer than carrot. Perhaps a bit more like bamboo shoot. It's nice, it's peppery, but I think that's probably just because I put pepper in it. I like that. Right, let's try the roasted root. Oh, that's nice as well. That's um, it's a bit like uh, artichoke heart. You can tell it's food. Do you know what I mean? It's got a you can you can you can tell it's full of carbohydrate. And a bit chestnutty. Definitely chestnutty. Yeah. Cheers. Must be good, I'm going in for more. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, burdock was definitely a thumbs up from me. It's quite a bit of work to, uh, to dig it out of the ground, especially when the ground is hard like it is today, but um, it is definitely worth it. Um, it's a good source um, of carbohydrate, it's a good food, um, it's tasty, um, and, um, and it's free. So, um, you know, what, what, what more do you need? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.